And looky here, my friends. That is most likely a large scent. Yahoo, baby, I've gotten some before. All right. There it is. Oh, it looks like a 1944. All righty. Oh my, ain't that pretty. It's an 1897. 20 years off, oh well. But happy to get another Indian fishing around in the plug. And here it is, my friends. Don't know what it is yet. We're going to take a look right now. Johnny here for Guess It Was Fate Metal Detecting. Today is March the 7th, and I came out here with my AT Pro because I'm interested in finding some more Indians, V nickels, buffaloes, and of course relics. That's what I think the AT Pro specializes in, but I'll be happy to take anything else as well. Let's see how we do today with the AT Pro, huh? Johnny back with you for my next good find. Coming along a different section near the Happy Hunting Ground, and I was picking up a uh, 76, jumping around different numbers, going up to an 80, down to 72, but in that 76 range, sounded like an Indian. Dug the plug and scooped out some dirt. And looky here. That is certainly an Indian. Hold on for closer inspection. Oh my, ain't that pretty? It's an 1897. 20 years off, oh well. But happy to get another Indian. Nice and green, ain't it folks? Let's take a look at the other side. Well, not too bad, but that front with the Indian is certainly the beauty side. All right, on to the next find. Yahoo, baby for the Indians. Well, I'm coming over here with my AT Pro and I was getting uh, 84, 85, about six inches, six and a half, close to seven inches deep. And I don't know what it is yet, but an 84, 85 on the AT Pro, who knows what that could be, it could be something good. So here's the plug and here's the dirt. And I hear it a ring-a-ding-dinging. And I'm gonna scrape it away here. What do we have here? Hard doing this, ain't it? Well, I'm gonna have to scoop it out, put it up here. Oh. Hear it. Oh, there's a coin. Alrighty there. Hold on for closer inspection. Let's see here. What do we have? Oh, it's a Merc. And it is a dirty one. A dirty Merc. Well, see if I can get a date off of it. 
Well, there's a little shininess there, but not much. Remember the salt water came in here, Irene and Sandy, and that's what's responsible for all some of these coins looking like this. All right, well, I'm gonna get a close up here. There it is. Oh, it looks like a 1944. All righty, happy to get it. All righty, we'll give her a flip. And I can't see a mint mark. Don't know even if I'll, I'll be able to clean it up, but hopefully we can get something a little more detail off this. All right, on to the next find. Yahoo baby, that makes 20 silvers for 2016 for Johnny. How sweet it is. Well, Johnny scored that Merc and he's happy for it. That's a 1944 dirty Merc. But now I'm coming over here by these trees which I've come many times before. And I was getting a 89 up to 94 on the AT Pro. And it didn't sound scratchy at all. I don't even know what it is yet. We're gonna take a look at it together, but it is out of the hole, not deep even. Alrighty, so I was coming over here with the AT Pro, getting that 89 up to 94, mostly between 89, 90, 91, and I scooped out, uh, dug the plug, fishing around in the plug, and here it is, my friends. Don't know what it is yet, but we're going to take a look right now. Alrighty, here we go. Uh-oh, I think we got some kind of foreign coin here. Oh well, we'll see what we have and closer inspection. Well, there it is. Wah, 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 wah. It's Elizabeth II, 25 cent Canadian piece. I'm gonna give her a flip. And there is the caribou. 1969 <laughs> oh well not silver most likely not and but have you ever been fooled like this my friends with a big Canadian quarter on the AT Pro <laughs> oh excitement shattered all right on to the next find Johnny here for Guess It Was Fate Metal Detecting. Today is March 9th, and I'm out detecting. It's a beautiful day. We're having gonna have high near 70 degrees, about 67 they say. And I'm coming out to a different, far away section from the Happy Hunting Ground. But I decided to hunt this little section over here. And what I'm doing, I found something good. Check this out, my friends. Well, I call it good because it's history, my friends, and I like relics, so take a look at this thing. Only two inches getting a 1247 down. Look at that. A car, window, handle. Is that awesome or what? Johnny remembers these. He's old enough. That is pretty awesome, man. I love it. On to the next find. Johnny back with you for my next great find. You see what's behind me? That is a sycamore. Yes sir, and you know what's underneath them. Lots of times, great stuff. Watch this one. Well, there's my old CTX, and there's the sycamore. Can't be more than a yard away, but the find was actually about two yards away, and I, dug a plug because I was getting a 12 
to 13 ferrous number 4647 six to seven inches down it was about seven and I scooped out some dirt it was screaming and looky here my friends that is most likely a large scent Yahoo baby I've gotten some before all right hold on for closer inspection well, there's a little close-up I'm letting some dry off well there you have it my friends happy to get yet another large scent and it's a uh, 1819 I believe matron head large scent yahoo baby oh man I love these copper large scent coins man remember salt water came in here from Irene and Sandy they don't come out all pretty looking but this one is beautiful to me anyway let's take a look at the other side well there's the other side you can make out the wreath barely and if you got good eyes you can make out one cent right in the center of the wreath yahoo man all right on the board with a beautiful large scent yahoo baby on to the next find